Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 21st, 2022. Well, yesterday, we kind of got disappointed. Um, the rally that had started on Monday quickly evaporated, and those bears came in, pushing us down, making new lows on the day. And then we bounced once again at the end of the day in this wide ranging chop that I'm sure is proving to be fairly frustrating for a lot of folks. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, and thank you so much for being here, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Well, doggone it, uh, today is going to be one of those interesting days, and I apologize I'm running a little late this morning, but a um, couple things I, I need to uh, let everyone know. Thursday and Friday, I will be gone. I'm taking a uh, small hiking trip. I'll be gone Thursday and Friday trying to catch the last little hiking trip I can get this fall. So I'll be gone Thursday and Friday. There will be no morning market prep video for Thursday and Friday, but I'm going to try to have a couple other videos available for you by then. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today and realizing that today is going to be a very big day of um, data from the FOMC. So first off, if we take a look in here, we've got a situation where Clearly, we um, have not been able to attack resistance in the chart yet. We gave a, a you know a little bit of a shot of that on Monday, and we ended up coming back down here and actually testing some support levels in the chart. So downtrend remains in play. Technical patterns in the chart remain ugly, and today, whoops, wrong drawing tool. Um, to, today we're likely going to see lots of volatility around the FOMC announcement and probably even more volatility around the chairman's comments, whether or not they're going to stay aggressive or not. Everyone's listening and hoping to hear that the Fed will soon pivot. But it's kind of interesting. We had a Wells Fargo report out today suggesting that they think the Fed should just go ahead and get it done, rip the Band-Aid off and, and um, raise us by 150 basis points this time. So you can see there's quite a mix of attitudes out there in the market, and we could um, certainly expect some wild volatility later this afternoon. If you are not an experienced trader, it may be one of the wisest things that you can do. Is just keep your hands in your pockets away from that trading mouse and um, try to protect your capital instead of diving into the massive risk that could occur today. And, and there's really no way to know which direction it might go. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, really quickly. Continuing in the downtrend, we were unable to move up through that resistance. Downtrend still in place. We have a little bit of price support right through there that we held on to. But you can certainly see that possibility that we have that potential. We could go either direction to push into the downtrend or break on low. Lower. And uh, I think it's all going to be hinging on what um, the words of Jerome Powell are doing during the press conference today that will make the difference. If we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ struggling pretty heavily here, as you can see, downtrend still in play, resistance, um, no chance of uh, us testing or breaking through that just yet. And as you can see, we've got a little tiny bit of price support right in there trying to hold. So once again, it's probably going to depend on what the FOMC says, whether or not we make that break to try and challenge the downtrend or if we turn and head south. So watch that close. And then our Russell, very much the same situation, but holding on to continuing to still hold on to a little bit of hope. Now, clearly we did make um, a lower low. So our downtrend is confirmed as far as lower high, lower low, but not so much that you would say, gosh, the world's coming to an end here on this. Um, as a matter of fact, it is the strongest index right now in the markets. 
um, holding up better than all the others. So watch that closely here in IWM. Maybe the small caps are going to give us that hope of a little bit of uh, relief coming soon in the market, which we do need. If we take a look at our VIX, our, whoops, there we go. Our VIX rallied up yesterday, but we were not able to um, break um, this resistance area right here in the chart. We continue to move in this upside trend. We could still chop out here to actually reach that trend on the side. And as I've said, I don't think we get into any major problems here in the market if we start, unless we break through this. And the real worry in the market will come if we break above this. This is where capitulation can occur in the market when the uh, traders throw up their hands and just get the heck out of the way. Um, um, for the a bigger down move in the market. So watch that close. If we can find that bullish action, watch down in here. If we can break down back down below that 25 handle area and maybe breaking below um, that um, upside trend, then things could dramatically improve here in the market. So watch that close. Our T2122 indicator is giving us probably the best hope that we should see some kind of a relief rally. And that's where that disappointment came in on Monday. We, we had rallied up and there was um, some hope that we might follow through to the upside. And I'm guessing that anyone that bought on Monday probably um, ultimately was very disappointed and a little painful lesson there um, on the day, um, selling right back off with a gap down in the morning to really add to the insult. And now we're back down here in the bullish reversal zone here in the chart, which suggests that we should be watching for a potential relief rally. But with the data that we have coming today, the FOMC and all of the weight that is on that FOMC right now, we're going to have to watch that pretty closely because it is possible we could continue to extend to the downside if um, the FOMC disappoints the market and does not capitulate from fighting inflation but actually stays on the gas and pushes harder on that inflation situation so listen to every word that Powell says today because if he comes off hawkish then we have some troubles um, likely ahead here uh, for the downside of the market now if we can find that bullishness if he if they do kind of show that pivot or that willingness to back off a little bit we could see the market rally pretty substantially and we definitely have the room in the t2122 to um to allow that to occur let's take a look at our t2108 now t2108 um continued to deteriorate yesterday in that selling obviously this is not a good chart at all you can see we had broken above that downtrend in here. We rallied back, failed at that resistance area in the chart, and there's substantial resistance in here. And now we're continuing on down to maybe test some of these lows in here, and only 21.5% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. That's a pretty tough situation to um, be looking at the market, particularly with an FONC, and say, no, it's going to be bullish. Um, I would be really, really careful with that. Certainly, we are oversold, and that might give us that hope that we can catch a bounce, but um, there is... Um, so much uncertainty with uh, with what's happening today and, and our deteriorating economic condition in the United States and around the world. So watch that carefully. And then our T2107, also same situation, but just a little bit more hope. If you look right across here, holding that trend right in here, we rallied back above and then failed it a little bit yesterday. 25% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. So again, not the best of situations here. And the market for a bullish case just yet but that could change today then if we take a look at our t2101 well we're starting to see volume um, pulling back here just a little bit so I'm not sure we're getting the 
best of information, but notice that momentum to the upside really kind of died yesterday um, with so much wide ranging chop in the selling and pushing back and forth in the market really just kind of died on the vine. And um, it's pretty understandable when we consider the fact that we're just waiting on such a major market decision uh, coming here this afternoon. So watch that close. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar, um, this is what I've been talking about this morning. We've got existing home sales that will be coming out this morning. Keep in mind, existing home sales are expected to decline. We're going to get those mortgage applications as well. Um, the housing market is starting to show some weakness here. We heard on Monday that um, um, builders are having to uh, lower prices on their houses. Um, so we're going to want to watch that closely. Um, here and then we've got a petroleum status number now one of the things that's interesting today is petroleum is shooting up this morning after the Putin speech where he raised you know the tensions against um, you know uh, the United States and uh, other Western countries here um, and um, really seem to layer on some of the threats. So watch that closely. Uh, petroleum could be an interesting um, uh, metric for today. And then of course, FOMC and the press chair, or the conference uh, from the, the chairman here. Um, I would expect that unless he gives us a surprise, everyone's expecting a 75 basis point increase. If he gives us a, pro a surprise like Wells Fargo is suggesting, raise it by 150 basis. If it stays in that 75 basis point, you know, the market's going to see some likely some volatility after that statement comes out. If it's a surprise, look for lots of volatility. But then the real action is likely going to start right in here on the press conference where we try to find out whether or not the Fed is going to remain hawkish and keep pressure on raising rates. If they continue to project forward that they're going to uh, keep the rates um, going up, that could be a problem for the market. If um, they suggest that they're going to start backing off heading into the midterm elections, then we could get a nice rally out of that you just never know how the market is going to respond so be prepared and remember unless you're a very experienced day trader um, this is going to be a dangerous afternoon to be trading so make sure you're protecting your capital what I'm really trying to convince you of is keep keep your hands in your pockets um, protect your money don't do any um, wild trading in a day like today because anything is possible and the thing is it can whipsaw so fast on the day that it, it'll feel like your face has just been ripped off let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be um, um, setting up in the um, earnings calendar today. Now the earnings calendar, we have a little bit more activity here on that with a few um, uh, more notables today. We haven't seen, um, GIS has already reported here this morning, um, um, getting a nice pop. So General Mills moving to the upside, um, a nice little bump here in their report this morning. Later this afternoon, we're gonna hear from um, uh, HB Fuller, um, keep an eye on that. We're gonna have KB um, this is where we're going to uh, get some more housing data. It'll be interesting to see how some of the home builders um, fare. Um, obviously, they've been declining here pretty sharply, so watch that close. And then we're going to get Lennar also this afternoon. Um, we're going to get a report from SCS. Um, not a particularly notable stock, but I put it on the list as well, anyway. And then uh, TCOM will also be reporting today so keep an eye on some of those reports again not likely major market movers and the majority of those are this afternoon after the bell and all we're really going to be thinking about is you know um we'll probably be just holding our breath and trying to catch our breath after the wild afternoon from the FOMC. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But guys, before we do that, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment 
comment that helps the channel to continue to go to grow yesterday i had just enough time to kind of read through those comments i didn't get a chance i answered a couple of questions but i didn't get a chance to answer them all i think i'll be back on the case here today answering all those questions so i um or um uh, re uh, responses to the channel i really do appreciate it it means the world to me let's take a look at um, some stocks that might be uh, up for consideration but i got to tell you guys i would really caution you to be very very careful about trading anything in this market uh, first i want to point out that our dollar is surging here this morning surging to the upside so that should have negative effects on commodities but if we take a look at energy stocks today you can also see energy surging up based on the rhetoric out of, of Vladimir Putin's mouth um, yesterday afternoon so watch that closely in here we're seeing some pretty heavy spikes and that rising dollar is certainly going to have some impacts on the the overall market now when it comes to long positions again I'm gonna to have to continue to uh, post um, um, stocks like first solar holding in there pretty darn strongly um, um, setting up a, a, a nice pattern um, for an upside potential move if we can get those bulls inspired um, a run would also be something to pay attention to even though it got hit just a little bit yesterday um, a lot of these are still holding those upside trends so we look for that opportunity for that to move on up also in the alternative energy take a look um, at CCJ now I have a bias here on CCJ I'm continuing to hold this position here and it's very profitable actually on both sides of the trade right now and as you can see in here holding some price support moving on up um, this has got some work here to do before it gets too crazy but again um, looking into that uranium play um, as the world is kind of um, struggling with um, energy supplies all over the place um, uranium is gaining some attention again so watch that close um, other places I think you might want to be looking it, and it really is hard to decide which which side is going to be the winner on the day with so much data coming our way but continue to look at some of those um, tech sector stocks you can see we had that rally uh, right at the end of the day on Monday they took it all all back some of these stocks are sitting down here near price support levels we could get a bounce off of this if the market is um, find some reason for bullishness or we could really start to drop through some of these support levels um, Google was one of those noticeable yesterday that fell through some major support here in the chart so we're seeing big tech is getting hammered pretty hard here and I would be looking for some of that big tech on any rally back for a potential short trade so watch that closely but with that guys i'm really going to shut this down because i don't think you people should be really stretching out there trying to find a bunch of trades um uh, today because there's going to likely be some vol violent price action around what the fomc does um and it could um, just be really painful if you're on the wrong side of that trade so i would caution you to be careful but the thing that i want to continue to echo out here we are oversold we're looking for some kind of bounce but that doesn't change the fact that the long-term trend is down the short-term trend is down so try to stay on the short side of the market here for the most part of your trading although we can look for some kind of a bounce that bounce may just rally back to resistance to continue the failure pattern so keep that in mind with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you a great rest of your week i apologize i'll be gone but um well maybe not uh, not apologize i really enjoy hiking so i'm going to be out in nature um, I do love that and um, I will uh, miss, miss everyone in getting these videos out but hopefully you'll be able to get by without a couple of days of having to listen to me back on about the market. Y'all take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early next Monday morning. Wish you all of the best.